Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to set up a tank for my new pets, Fiddler Crabs. So these guys are brackish water crabs, and they're just pretty cool creatures. They eat basically anything, and they're pretty simple and easy to care for if you do the right things. So the first thing is that a lot of people think these crabs are full fresh water, but they're not. They are brackish water, which means they need about a teaspoon to a tablespoon per gallon of marine salt. It really doesn't matter. They just need at least some salt in their water. I like to do about a teaspoon and a half of marine salt per gallon of water for these guys. So I'm gonna probably have like three gallons of water in this five gallon tank. So I'm gonna do like a tablespoon and then a teaspoon and a half of marine salt. We'll get into that later. But basically I'm gonna start off with a five gallon tank. That's about the minimum size for these guys because they do grow quite a bit. They get about two inches and I'm probably gonna have like two or three in here to start with. And as they grow, I'll probably upgrade them to like a 10 gallon. In addition to the five gallon aquarium, which currently is just a glass tank and a lid, I will have a light on the aquarium soon, but I don't right now. I also have a little dock. This is just gonna make it easier for the crabs to get out of the water. It doesn't look too good right now. This stuff's not algae, it just looks like it is for some reason. But I have this so they can climb into the water. I have a bag of sand because for fiddler crabs, you'd rather have sand than gravel because gravel can mess up their feet and can like break their legs. So go with sand. I also have a small little internal filter over here, which you can't really see. I'll show you that when it's all set up and a fake plant just to kind of hide the filter. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the sand in the aquarium, get the dock in the aquarium, get the filter going. Then we'll talk about adding the salt and stuff like that. Okay, so it's a few days later and I also added some cycled filter media. So the tank's cycled, the tank's ready for crabs. My only issue is that the light still hasn't showed up. So the light should be coming in soon, but I did go ahead and get our first fiddler crab for this tank. Um, I looked everywhere for these fiddler crabs and could only find one fiddler crab for sale. And it happened to be at Walmart, the last place you would think. Found them at Walmart, $3 right here. So we're just gonna go ahead and basically acclimate him to the tank. I'm sure Walmart does not give these guys the proper care. That I know Walmart does not give these guys the proper care they need of the brackish water and the place to get out of the water. So I hope that we can accomplish that with this aquarium right here. Of course, we do have the place for them to get out of the water as well as the marine salt. I went ahead and added one and a half tablespoons of marine salt into this aquarium because it is about like two, three gallons of water maybe a little less than that but it should be perfect for this guy and then once i find some more fiddler crabs we're going to go ahead and get two more for this aquarium i also should mention that i don't have a heater in this aquarium because the way it's under this bookshelf it stays at like 72 degrees year round it's kind of weird actually how it works my other tanks normally need heaters during the winter not during the summer i never need heaters during the summer but it's during the winter right now it's winter and for some reason this tank has not dropped at all so I'm fine with that heater right now. If it drops, I'll obviously put one in. But these guys should be kept at tropical fish temperatures. Here's just a little look at what he looks like. I believe it's a male because you can tell for the, from the bigger claw. So he's not very big right now. We're gonna go ahead and put him in the tank in a minute. And then that's gonna be it for this part of the video before we get the new crabs and a new light. So let's go ahead and get him in the tank and check him out. I also should say these guys are notorious for escaping their aquarium, so make sure your lid is well covered. I have mine covered up with some plastic bags on the filter, the place where the filter sits, because I do have an internal filter, so I don't need that space. So I have it covered up so the crabs cannot escape. So it is about a week later from that last clip, and our original crab is still doing just fine in this tank. But as you can see, it's still dark. The light is actually out for delivery right now. So hopefully later today we should have it. You'll see that in like 10 seconds. But still, we do have some more crabs from Walmart. I ended up going back to Walmart and getting two more crabs because my local fish store where I normally get most of my fish just couldn't get any in. They just weren't getting them in for some reason. Plus, they want more money than Walmart wants. Walmart charges like $3 for their crabs. Well, the pet store I normally go to is like 4 I think four fifty five dollars something like that so i just ended up being like okay i want these guys really bad i might as well just go back i already have one from walmart he's doing good i might as well go and get some more in from walmart so i have two more right here i'm gonna go ahead and get them into the tank with the other one and then we will go ahead and show you everything and stuff like that 
So also I should mention that ideally for a ratio, you want about one male to two females, two or three females. Unfortunately, I hadn't just now realized I have two males and one female, so I'm gonna see how it plays out, and if it doesn't play out well, I can bring one back or even trade them into my local fish store and they can probably swap one out when they eventually get some in. For all I know, this pair could work, or this trifecta could work 100% fine. I personally don't know from experience, but so far my crab has been doing good in his brackish water tank setup. I find he's not super active though. He kind of hides a lot when and gets spooked a lot easily. He does like to use the basking spot quite a bit actually and hides behind the filter a lot. He's currently under these rocks right now, but he's not out and active as I, like, as I want him. Like I want him to be out all the time. So I'm hoping by introducing a few more, I can achieve that. So I'll be back when the new crabs are in and we have a light. So here is the tank all set up. I've been feeding these guys the Fluval Bug Bite Pleco formula. Here's one of my crabs right here. The other two, I believe, are hiding right now. I don't know where they are at the moment. One of them's in that plant. So I know where two are. The third one, he's somewhere in here. Or she is somewhere in here. But so far, so good. I even have some duckweed floating at the top of the aquarium. And they've been eating and doing well. One thing I have noticed is just from getting them, that they came in with a few missing limbs. But if they do have missing limbs, when they molt again, which if you see a crab laying upside down, it means they're molting. And they'll, you know, shed their whatever thingy and do that kind of thing. There's my third crab right there. So when they molt, they'll have new arms basically. So even if they are missing some, they can basically regrow them. That is pretty much it for this video though. Just keep these guys happy with brackish water. Let them get out of the tank. Feed them any sort of fish food really and they'll do pretty good for you. That is pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.